Hello out there, and I'm doing a follow-up video today about the warranty issues that I had with this Kershaw 7007CF, the carbon fiber Natrix. And <laughs> I got to tell you guys, I just continue to have really bad luck with warranty issues, and, and it's not changing here. Um, I don't know what has happened over the past year and a half, but... I feel like prior to 2018, every single experience I'd had with the company was positive. They always fixed everything perfectly. Uh, communication was always great. And just recently, <laughs> everything has just been in the toilet. I just can't get a satisfactory experience to save my life. And and I don't think that my expectations have changed. You know, it's it just has not gone, just hasn't gone well. So let's get into all that <laughs> with this knife. Uh, starting with the knife itself. So when I picked this knife up, when it first came out, I enjoyed it. I liked it uh, pretty, uh, I'm not going to say a lot, but I did like the knife in that I thought that it was a step in the right direction for the Natrix line. And keep in mind, this one came out before the copper one, and it came out before the, um, the bare knuckle. And I think it was the first Natrix to come out with the uh the ball bearings manual this was before the original natrix made that transition so that's why i was excited to pick it up and yeah it, it does some good things but then what i realized and noticed um shortly after i started carrying it was that there was a little bit of play uh, when it was closed in the detent it was loose so you know the knife wiggled a little bit not a safety issue but just a little bit of a frustration and an in, in inconvenience and not something you want to see on any knife. And even though it might be acceptable on a budget knife, this is one of those knives that is really good looking and you just want it to feel like a more expensive knife than it is. And then uh, shortly after I started getting that movement, I started getting some lock rock. And I thought, okay, I'm going to send it into Kershaw and see what they do and see if they're able to fix this. And I never did. I, I forgot about it. I had this knife just sitting on a shelf for a long time, never did anything about it, and I uh, I finally remembered it and sent it in in the middle of January. So I sent it in at the same time, actually, that I sent in the CRKT Voss. And I got the Voss back really quickly. Got it back in just a couple weeks. I posted a video about it on February 5th, and here we are, and I just got this knife back. <laughs> on April 13th. Again, sent them both out the same day. Uh, understandably, Kershaw is probably busier than CRKT in the warranty department, but uh, definitely took a long time, about three months, to get the knife back. And you can actually, in the paperwork I sent them, you can see they received it on January 28th. So they had this knife for a long time. So, anyway, that would have been fine. I'll wait three months if you fix the problem. <laughs> but they didn't. Maybe you can see that, hear that. You know? Let's see. And let me be clear about this, guys. I don't think these are safety issues. I'd still be comfortable using this knife. Um, would I ever hard use it? No, probably not, but I don't think I would hard use the knife anyway. Like, I don't think there's anything that I'd be doing with this knife that would cause it to be a real safety issue, at least at this point. Who knows how these things might progress over time. Um, if this were going to be like your main EDC, it might be more of a concern. So I don't really know that. What I do know, though, is that I did dictate these things in the actual notes. So I did take some flack about that with the CRKT. But yeah, here, I mean, it was in the description that I gave them. Um, up and down detent play. I asked them to sharpen it, too. And let me see if it is... All right, sorry. <laughs> it took me a minute to find it, but um, you can actually see right here it says... This was my note. Detent is loose when closed. Also, am experiencing up and down movement slash play. So, I let them know. Um, they didn't communicate anything back about that, apart from just 
what you saw a minute ago. They didn't say, hey, we weren't able to fix this, um, or, hey, like, this isn't as big of an issue as you think it is. It's fine. It falls within our standards. Had they said that, had they said, hey, this is very minor, it is not deemed to be a safety concern, we're not going to replace the knife, we can't fix it, here it is, sorry for the inconvenience, that would have been great. You know, that would have been, that would have been satisfactory. And even though I would have been a little disappointed that they weren't able to do anything about it, I would have understood. But they didn't give me, like, anything. You know, there's no, there's, I don't know, there's nothing to give me a warm and fuzzy about this, guys. <laughs> That's for sure. I mean, the only stuff that they sent me was, um, like a receipt for my payment of $7, which is part of the policy update, uh, that basically they're charging $7 for return shipping, free repair, free parts, free lifetime sharpening, which is cool. And honestly, the $7 return shipping and processing fee, I have zero problem with. I understand. They get a ton of people sending in knives. Uh, it is expensive to send them all back. And $7 is perfectly, perfectly reasonable, presuming that you get the service that you were paying for. And I don't really feel like I did. Also, that said, if you are going to be paying the $7, like I feel like they should communicate better about how they're shipping and how long it's taking to ship. I mean, not only did I wait as long as I did for the knife, but there was no notification. I sent them an email like a week ago when I remembered about this knife saying, hey, this is like, been a long time can you give me an update and they replied and said hey we don't give updates since you asked here's the tracking number but we don't notify people when we ship their stuff back out like okay well sorry i'm just asking about my knife well i don't think that that's outside of like what the expectation should be but anyway again all of this for me is moot if the knife is fixed and it's not it's a little bit disappointing more than a little bit disappointing because I like this model and I want to have a good example of it and I don't and now I have another company that I just don't have that like confidence in their warranty department and when you're buying budget knives you really want to have that level of confidence because they're not all perfect. And sometimes the machining or the issues out of the factory, they do happen. You know, I got a really, really good copper Natrix. A lot of people didn't. And from what I've heard, Kershaw did a great job of taking care of those. But uh, I guess that isn't consistent because they didn't really do a great job of taking care of this. So a bit of a bummer. Yeah, one of the other things, it said you get free uh, lifetime um, like replacement of, of parts. I guess you have to like dictate that because you can see the big scratch on my pivot. They didn't just automatically change the hardware out, which would have been nice if they did, but they didn't. So, I don't know. I mean, overall, I'm not like pissed off or anything, but certainly wasn't a good experience from Kershaw. So uh, let me know your thoughts, guys. I know videos like this, people are never bashful. So let me know uh, any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions. All right. And I look forward to talking with you down below. Thanks for watching and take care. Have a good one.